businesswoman, TV personality Michelle Moan. She's a baroness and an apparent grifter who's been making headlines for one of the most shocking cons of the COVID pandemic. This Tory peer made her millions by starting the Ultimo lingerie brand. In 2015, David Cameron put her in the House of Lords. But when the pandemic hit in 2020, she called up her Tory minister mates. She offered to connect the government with a firm called PPE MedPro to produce much needed surgical gowns and gloves. And she said she had no connection to the firm. I wouldn't be getting involved with anything. Being a baroness in the House of Lords, mm. if anything was dodgy. Legit, right? The company hadn't even been set up yet. It had no track record, no staff, and it was run by a friend. Yet the government awarded it 203 million pounds in contracts. 203 million. Now it's been revealed that 69 million pounds of that money went into the bank accounts of her husband, Doug. Then he moved 29 million pounds from those accounts into the offshore accounts of Baroness Michelle and her children. And by the way, 122 million pounds of that money was paid to the company for gowns that didn't even work. Remember, this was at a time when huge numbers of people were dying and health workers were putting their lives on the line every single day. But hey, a buck's a buck. Baroness Michelle Moan denies any role in the scandal. In April, the police raided her home. PPE MedPro is under criminal investigation and this girl boss grifter has been silent ever since. But now there's a petition to have her thrown out of the House of Lords. It got 130,000 signatures in just 24 hours. Should they throw her out? Let us know in the comments. Who the hell is